let's take a look at an object on an incline and the forces acting on that object. Now, the first drawing, obviously, you see, we don't have an object on an incline. I'm not so great at drawing the boxes, so just bear with me. So what forces right now are acting on this box? Well, it's just sitting there, so the box is at rest. So we know we have the weight of the box, and the weight is always pulling down. That's F little g. And of course, it's not moving. Forces come in pairs. The equal in magnitude, opposite direction force is known as the normal force. That's the support force. So same magnitude for both, opposite direction. So my F net, the net force is equal to zero. Let's take a look at the box if now it was on an incline. Well, what are the forces acting on the box? Well, the box still has its weight. That's FG. And that is getting pulled down to the center of the earth, just like it was above. It is being supported by the surface. That's the normal force. Now, that's not going to be straight up anymore. The normal force runs perpendicular to the surface that the box is on. So there's my normal force. And then, since the box is sitting on the incline, what's holding the box up is the force of friction. Okay? Now, all of these vectors, of course, when we add them up, we take into account magnitude and direction. My F net is still equal to zero. So, check out more videos on inclined planes, on how to do inclined plane problems, but this is the vector drawing for an object on an incline. These are the actual vectors. Keep working hard and good luck.